As we speak, Samsung TV unit is trying to acquire millions of LG WOLED panels for its TVs next year. Stop the FOMO. Do you ever fear missing out on a great thousand dollar TV? Sadly, the future of TVs will be either high-end flagship, $2,000 TVs or more, and everything below that will be similar to a $300 Vizio V-Series, otherwise known as America's number one best-selling TV because the economic landscape of the TV business is shifting closer and closer to a world dominated by the Vizio business model, the El Cheapo TV filled with annoying ads. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best, and sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Let's quickly go through the activation process after you've purchased Windows 10 on WhoKeys. Go to your WhoKeys account and select My Purchased Orders. See your order? To the far right, click on the button that says View Keys Codes to see the Windows CD code. At the bottom of this order where it says Code Card, to the right is the product key you need to activate Windows. So copy this long number, then go to the Windows menu and click on Settings. In the Settings menu at the bottom, select update and security, select activation, then select change product key, paste what you copied from WhoKeys, click next, click activate, and you're done. You can download the Windows 10 Pro key and you're up and running. But that's not all folks. WhoKeys has keys for games too. Steam, Origin, you play, you name it, you got it. Check out their sites. There are discounts for all sorts of stuff. And most importantly, you want to be productive? What about Office Suite? Yep, you can download a copy of Office Professional with my code SF20 at checkout and bam. So the red flags began years ago when Sony stopped making their own panels, instead outsourcing it to Samsung and LG Display. And now Samsung Display and LG Display, ironically enough, are also leaving the LCD panel market, leaving it to the Chinese. Now, before you blame the Chinese companies for undercutting the competition and taking market share, right? They're not doing so much better either. As a matter of fact, the entire global TV marketplace is so bad that the Chinese government may have to step in and force a consolidation of all these TV panel makers because there's a huge surplus of LCD panels and no one's making money on these TVs. And that race to the bottom essentially has achieved hitting the bottom. <laughs> and this is why we get to the discussion first, why Samsung now has to buy up millions of WOLED TVs from LG, despite having amazing QD OLEDs and why a few years after that, we may not even have these amazing thousand dollar TVs. So let's start with the near future. Next year, Samsung may be selling WOLED panels and this is why. So as you know, the Chinese have taken up the entire LCD marketplace for TV panels. And so this has caused an issue because they've taken up the entire LCD market, but the market for TVs is drying up this year. Their production capacity has been cut almost in half. So the Chinese government's coming in, cutting back on production. As a matter of fact, they cut back on production so much that there are not enough LCD panels to go around. So what they're doing is favoring their own local domestic companies like Hisense and TCL, leaving Samsung Sony and LG high and dry, well, mostly Samsung, simply not enough LCD panels to go around. Remember, Samsung is the number one volume seller in the world. They need a lot of LCD panels and not just for their cheaper TVs, but we're talking for their Neo QLED series, right? Neo QLED mini LED TVs, they're LCD panels and there's not enough QD OLED panels for them to take and use to fit in all the mid tiers below their flagship QD OLED. So for example, this year we have the S95C, then the S90C. These are their two 4K flagships. And then right below that or at that pricing level is the QN95, QN90B or 90C, 85C, right? As you go down and down. Well, next year, there is a real fear that there's not enough LCD panels to have enough TVs for an 85D or a 90D and so forth. And so Samsung's thinking, wait, there's not enough 
QD OLED panels to go around because Samsung Display is not making enough of it. I mean, they want to, but they're not there yet. And the Chinese are not selling enough of these panels for Samsung to sell to the world. So they're going to have to turn to LG Display and fill those slots with W OLED TVs. Yes, we talked about this last year when Samsung tried to buy W OLEDs from LG Display, but LG Display refused because Samsung was offering bottom dollar. We're talking less than what LG Display was selling to its own sister company, LG Electronics, right? So whatever the C3 or the G3, whatever those unit prices were, <laughs> Samsung was trying to get even lower. So of course, last year, LG Display refused, but that was then, this is now. We are facing the economic collapse of the TV market, so Samsung is re-engaging. Samsung needs those panels, right? They need about two to three million of high quality TV panels that will take the place of a Q90C, Q185C, maybe even a Q95C, and only LG Display has enough units of that quality panel, in this case, WOLED. And on the other hand, why would LG Display do this since they refused last year? because they are bleeding cash. They need the money, they need the customers, and yes, even if they're gonna sell a little bit less than what they wanted to, better cash in hand than no cash at all. They just wanna keep the lights on. So here you have Samsung TV unit that needs the panels, they can't trust that they'll get it from China, and you have LG display. Now, I know that Samsung would rather have mini LED from China, right? Because that's the bread and butter of their profit margin. We're talking the QN95C this year, so next year would be the QN95D, QN90D, QN85D, and so forth, but, if they can't rely on a source of LCD panels for their mini LED TVs, you gotta go with W OLED. Now these discussions are ongoing, but it's very real, given that the Chinese government is also forcing that merger of the existing display manufacturers just to keep them afloat. So what we're gonna see is, most likely, QD OLED TVs on the top, and then some W OLED TVs below that. So you might have something like the S95D, the S90D, maybe the QN95D if there's enough LCD panels to go around, and then a bunch of W OLEDs below that. And that's what we're gonna see next year if this happens where the Chinese are not producing enough LCD panels. Now, this is the near term. This is next year and maybe the year after. But in the distant future, there is a different problem, which is whether it even makes business sense to sell the QN85 series or the QN80, the QLED series. All of these TVs currently today are on sale between, let's say, $900 and $1,300, right? The QLED TVs up to the QN90C or the 85C. In the future, this may be at risk, and this is why. So we all know Vizio, right? Questionable quality control, the performance is not there. And yet, and yet, their profitability is through the roof. The Vizio TVs, specifically the Vizio V series at 50 inches, the number one selling TV in America, they, what is it? It's only $300? $300, and they're more profitable than Sony or Samsung or whoever is selling in that price range. Of course, pricing plays a big role, right? It's cheaper, people are buying it up, but then how are they making more money than Sony and Samsung on a less expensive TV? They're making it up in ads, right? Their smart cast system is where the revenues are. Now, what does this mean to you as consumers? If TV makers like LG, Sony, and Samsung they begin to realize, wait, why are we beating ourselves up trying to sell $1,000 TVs that perform well, way better than a similar Vizio for a little bit more, but then the Vizio, first of all, they'll sell more than us because it is cheaper. More importantly, they're making more money than what we're making. Why don't we start selling ads and price our TVs just like the Vizio? Maybe not as cheaply, instead of $300, maybe Sony Samsung is 350, but either way, it's an equivalent low-end 
middling performance TV where the money is not made on the impressive specs or even the image quality, right? You're not buying the TV because, wow, that's a great TV, but you're buying it because, well, it's inexpensive and the TV maker is making a whole lot of money through ads. So this is where things are going, I believe. I mean, for sure. It's not even, if you look at Vizio's recent quarterly earnings, they're killing it. They're making money when Sony, Samsung, and LG are struggling you're asking, what about brand reputation? What about quality control, right? What about the image quality that Sony is known for? Sadly, it doesn't sell in volume. I mean, all that is great for us enthusiasts, right? But for the regular Joe, they're still looking at the bottom line. And look at Vizio, again, reputation for quality control and performance is not there. And yet, it hasn't stopped consumers from buying it, the number one selling TV in America, right? So if you're interested in catching one of those, watch my buying guides and reviews here and here and see if OLED TVs are something you can afford before it's too late. Until next time, stop the FOMO.